Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody's day is off to a great start. I'm thankful to be in the land of the living this morning. I'm thankful to be amongst the living this morning. I'm thankful that God woke me up this morning and gave me another chance. So for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Grace Amber. I come on different platforms whenever God gives me a word to share. I come on and I share with you. So really quick this morning, happy Tuesday. Uh, I know I sound a little raspy. Uh, it's a nasty bug going around. Um, so... If I were you guys, I'd be spraying, spraying some air sanitizer, especially if you work in a place where it's a lot of people. So anyway, I want to talk to you really, really quick this morning from the topic of what about now, from the topic of what about now. What am I talking about today? Let's jump in. So I'm going to give you a scripture first. Turn with me in your Bibles to Ephesians, the fifth chapter, the 13th through the 16th verses. Uh, this is the NIV. But everything exposed by the light becomes visible, and everything that is illuminated becomes a light. This is why it is said, wake up, sleeper, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. So uh, have you ever noticed how we as humans, we have a tendency to do this? So think about a time where, you know, you might have been struggling or, you know, you, you, you were not where you wanted to be. Your money was funny. Uh, the world, the world would describe it as broke, busted and disgusted. Think about that season in your life. Uh, and what we tend to do now is even though we were broke, busted and disgusted in that season, we tend to oftentimes look back at those times and say, man, those are the good old days because during that time, I didn't have much, but God showed up. He showed out. He turned my little two fish and five loaves of bread into enough to feed my football team or my soccer team or my whole household for months. Man, I didn't have much. Hey, look, I was struggling. Hey, look, my I used to have a Buick where the cars would, the car lights would just go out in the middle of the night while you're driving. You know, I might have been driving a hoopty where the windows would just slide down and you couldn't get it back up while you're driving. You know, but during those times, we had some good times, right? This is what we do. We go through a period in life where we go through periods in life and while we're going through it, we're not thinking about the now. We're always striving for more. We're always projecting for for more. We always have our taste buds for more. Then when we get the more, guess what happens? We don't get content there. What do we do? We look back at where we was and say, man, you know, I pray for God to get me out that house, but you know, I miss my old neighborhood. We had some good times over there. I prayed for a new car, but man, that was my baby. I loved that car. God, I prayed for a new job, and I said how much I hated that job, and I wanted to get out of there. Then God takes you out of there, and then we do two things. We look back where he brought us from, and we call that the good old days. Man, that those are some, I love my coworkers. I, I prayed to God to get me out of that neighborhood, but I love my neighbors. I prayed for God to get me out of that job. But, you know, I miss my coworkers. We had some good times at that job. And then the other thing we do is we'll say, you know what? You get at this new job that God gave you, give you a good three months. And you're like, Lord, I need a better paying job. <laughs> this is what we do. I can only imagine what God goes through dealing with us as humans. Because a lot of times we just, we're never content. Uh, we, we look back at the good old days, and during that time, we couldn't wait to get out of that season. Then God moves us to what we prayed for. Now we look back and say, those were the good old days. And then we start looking forward from where we are and saying, man, I want to make more money. I want a better job. God, you upgraded me, uh, you know, from this, and, and now I want more. It's not a problem about ambition or striving for better. I'm not talking about, you know, we should be slothful and just sitting around not doing anything, just being complacent with life circumstances. But here's what Satan often does. Let me point this out to you. The scripture says, this is why it is said, wake up, sleeper, rise from the dead. What is a sleeper? It's a person who has no relationship with God. You lost in this world. You know everything in the world, but you know nothing of the word. You have no relationship with Jesus. And if you have no relationship with Jesus, you have no relationship with the Holy Spirit and or with God. And guess what? That is what I like to call the walking dead. Because 
You are in a slumber. You're in a trance. You're going nowhere fast. Because one thing about relationship with God and with Jesus and with the Holy Spirit, you will evolve. You will grow. You will change. The scripture says, wake up, sleeper, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. So what does Christ do? You're in a trance. You know, you get saved. You receive salvation. And Christ, what he does is he shines on you. But listen, let's go back. But everything exposed by the light becomes visible. So when Christ shines on you, things that you couldn't see before, he gives you light so you can see. But here's what Satan loves to do. He loves to come in and bring darkness so that you don't focus on your blessing that you have in front of you now, that you will always be in a cycle of God, get me out of here and move me to someplace new and looking back at the old days and calling them the good old days. But what about now? There is things in your circumstances, in your everyday life right now that you should be cherishing. There are moments that are taking place right now, whether you're driving the car that you want to drive, but God has given you a car and it's not just getting you from point A to point B, but it's getting you everywhere you need to go. But you can't focus on the now. Why? Because what Satan does is he comes in as darkness, right? To keep you from being able to see how God has already blessed you in the now. So what he does is he keeps us in a cycle of, man, I miss the good old days. And when you were in the good old days, you were saying, Lord, I want to get out of here. Get you, God, get you out of there. And now you're looking back and saying, boy, I had some good times at that old place. I had some good times in that old relationship. I had some good times at that old job. I had some good times in that old raggedy car that I couldn't wait to get rid of. And then once God gives you new, now you're saying, I want more. I want more. I want more. So how can you cherish the moments that are in now if you're always looking back, cherishing the past, right? This is one circumstance and one exception where it's pretty good um, to look back. So you're always cherishing the good times of the past, even though you hated it while you were in there. And then you're always looking forward for more. What Satan does is keeps us in a cycle where we're always looking back, cherishing things from the past that we prayed to get out of. And then we're always reaching forward for more. But what about now? Satan is deceiving many of us as believers because he comes to do what? Steal, kill, and destroy. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and do what? Have it more abundantly. Satan comes to steal, to kill, and destroy. He wants to steal your joy, your peace, your happiness. He wants to steal it all. He wants to steal the time from you that you are going through right now. He wants to steal your joy in the now by always keeping you in a cycle of, I miss the good old days and I want more. Meanwhile, you're missing all these precious moments that are passing you by right now. Satan don't just like to steal your joy, your peace, and your happiness. He likes to rob you of your time. And I come today to remind you not to forget about the now. You might just be a single parent with you and your children, but guess what? You get to spend one-on-one -on -one time with them kids, just you and them. And before you know it, while you're, you're, you're always looking for, you know, God, I want to be married or I want to be in a relationship or, you know, I want this, I want that. But guess what? Then when you get in that relationship, you're going to look back, watch, and you're going to say, man, I missed the time when it was just me and my kids. We used to have fun together. See, Satan robs us and he keeps us confused because God is not the author of confusion, but guess who is? The deceiver is. So, you know, you might be looking and saying, man, I hate this job. I want out of this job. Uh-huh. Satan going to have you. He going to bring darkness right now and have you thinking, I can't wait to get out of here. Then when God takes you out of the job, now hindsight is 20 and you're looking and saying, boy, I missed the good old days. Now, God, thank you for giving me the job I got now, but I want something better. You'll never enjoy the now. And with life being as short as vapor, that's in James, I believe it is. And when you think about a vapor, you think of when you get out of a hot shower and there's steam on the mirror. And then one minute later, you come back and the vapor is gone. That's how short our life is. I come today to remind you not to forfeit the now. I know that we strive for more. I know that we may not have everything that we want. I understand that we may not have what we think 
um, we need at the time, but don't forget about the now. There are moments right now that you won't be able to get back, and then you're going to look back and say, man, I was like, 2020, what was I doing? I was so busy trying to get married. My kids done grown up in front of me, and I done spent the bulk majority of my time focusing on getting married. I'm a single woman. I have no kids. I spent my time focusing on having kids, and now that I have kids, I miss the time when I could just pray to God quietly. I miss the time when me and God will ride this thing out till the wheels fall off. There's something good going on right now in your now, and that's for everybody. What about the now? Satan loves to keep us in cycles. Don't let him steal your joy, your peace, your happiness, or your time. Cherish the moments that you have today. Why? Because life is but a vapor. And guess what the Bible tells us? It says, be very careful then how you live. Not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity. We are called to make the most out of every opportunity. Why? Because the days are evil. Look around you. It's scripture right in front of you. Don't forfeit your now, reaching back for the past that you prayed to get out of, and then God got you out of it into the now, and now you're reaching for it for something else. Learn to be content, learn to be grateful for where God has brought you from, and learn to cherish the now. Because one day, you will look back and you'll say, man, the times that I was having right then, those were some good times, and I wish I could go back. Cherish the now. Don't forget about the now. I love you. I hope that word blessed you today. I'm Grace Amber. Happy Tuesday. I'll be right back on tomorrow with another word. Good Lord willing.